Hello everyone, uh, this is Junaid Ahmed. Uh, I've got uh, AIR third in civil services examination 2018. Uh, so the purpose of making this video is to help the uh, students who are thinking of preparing this exam. I started my preparation in 2014. So I'm not uh, the person who cleared this exam in first or second attempt. Uh, it took me four years uh, to clear this exam. In my fourth attempt, I got into the services. So I have certain experience which uh, I want to share with you people, uh, the journey which I had and the preparation tips uh, which I want to give you people. There are certain mistakes which I committed. So I want to share with you people so that you should not commit those mistakes. So for a beginner, the first thing is uh, the question which comes up is when to start. That is the first basic question uh, for the beginners. Uh, I've seen many people asking me that whether we should start the preparation in graduation itself or uh, I've received calls uh, of students who are in 11th, 12th class asking me whether we should start preparation uh, during 11th, 12th. So I want to clear this uh, thing in the very beginning that when you are into your graduation or into your schooling, uh, you should focus more on that part. That is very important because the knowledge which you will acquire there will ultimately help you in clearing this exam. So the basic focus should be on your graduation. Uh, that is the first thing. So when to start in the end years of your graduation, you should have a goal that you want to clear the civil services. But in the end year of graduation, you should start focusing on this exam. Second question which comes up is how to start. That is a very important question because the syllabus is very vast and it is very difficult for the beginners to understand the pattern of this exam. So here in this video, I'm going to share uh, some mistakes which I committed so that you can have uh, a good overall plan for clearing this exam. So first thing is you need to understand certain things before starting your preparation. And the first thing you need to understand is uh, the time period at least two to four years are required for clearing this exam. Say if you clear this exam in first attempt also, then also it requires two years because you start your preparation, then the whole circle of exams uh, completes in one year and up to the time you go to the academy it takes around two years. So you should have this uh, period in your mind that will take minimum of two years and it can go up to four or five years. So you should be ready for that. That is very important first thing that you need to understand. The second thing is, as everyone knows, UPSC is uh, called as the mother of all exam. So you require ruthless determination in this exam. Everyone knows it's a fact that uh, the success ratio of this exam is very less to the tune of 0.1%. Lacks of candidates appear in this exam and only a few get selected. So ruthless determination is what is required for this exam. So this is second most important thing. Uh, there is no space for committing any mistake in this exam. I've seen people who have given interview and then they have plugged in prelims. There is no space for committing mistake. You need to understand this thing. Third thing you need to understand before starting your preparation is that the exam, it's a long process and you'll see many failures during this exam. I'm telling this based on my experience. I've failed in prelims, mains, interview. So there are a lot of failures. So you need to prepare your mind. You need to prepare yourself for these failures. If you'll be ready, if you'll accept these failures, if you'll see it in a positive perspective, then they'll teach you a lot. So these few things are there that you need to understand before uh, starting your preparation. So now I'll come to how the whole strategy should be to prepare for this exam. So basically what happens in our college uh, system, uh, normally it is the case that in June, uh, the graduation gets complete and people start preparing for this exam. So what I have made is uh, I've taken June as the starting point and from June to next uh, two years, I've made this plan because at least minimum two years are required for this exam. So when you come in June, suppose you are starting your preparation. So the first thing what you have to do is you have to cover your basic NCRTs. That is very important. That will uh, make your base uh, understanding of all the subjects, history, polity, uh, social science and everything. So reading NCRTs is very important and you have to be very thorough with the NCRTs. Don't just read them uh, to finish those NCRTs, read them to understand them in a very better way. So that is very important. In June, the first thing you should do is 
start with the NCRTs. Some people uh, ask this question whether coaching is required the moment you enter this uh, UPSC preparation whether coaching is required or not. So I will say that in the starting coaching helps you in putting you in a particular direction uh, because a lot of things are required to study. So what to study, what not to study, they segregate these things. So it helps you. But if you are confident that you can do without coaching also, it is up to you. Many people have seniors, many people have aspirants who help them in this journey. So it's up to them how they decide this thing. So from June to September, that is the first uh, period where uh, I'll focus upon. The first target is NCRTs. As I have already said, you need to cover these NCRTs thoroughly. The second thing is your optional. You have to select your optional very wisely because uh, ultimately your selection depends on uh, the marks of optional. So uh, when you are coming after graduation, the main reason behind selecting your optional should be your interest. Uh, many people say that I have particular subject in graduation but I am not comfortable in it. So you should not go for it. If you are very comfortable in your graduation subject, go for it. It doesn't matter what is the trend of that particular subject, how many marks. Uh, are coming or how many students are taking that subject. If you have interest, if you think you are confident, you can uh, get marks in that subject, go for it. That is interest is the main criteria before selection of your optional. So I will say that what I did uh, for my optional selection, I shortlisted few subjects like geography, history and political science. I read few books of these uh, subjects and uh, I realized that geography is the subject that interests me more. So I took geography as, uh, as my optional. Your interest should be the main criteria behind your optional selection. So June to September, June, July, August, September, these four months are there in the starting. So you have to start your GS preparation and optional preparation simultaneously. So when NCRTs are covered, you have to start your optional also. You can join any coaching for your optional or if you think you can uh, do self-study, you can start with that. So in these four months, you should focus on these two things. So this is the first thing that you need to understand in these four months. And also the slavers and previous years papers, they are very, very important. When you start your preparation, focus on these two things. At least for one and one and a half months, you need to analyze the previous years papers and slavers. They'll give you an idea what UPSC is asking and what is the demand of UPSC. The easier it is for you to understand, the easier it will be for you to clear this exam. So focus on this part. And uh, uh, people ask me that when you are starting your preparation, whether uh, answer writing should be your priority, whether newspaper should be your priority, I will suggest that in these four months, uh, you should not focus much on newspapers and you should not focus much on answer writing. Answer writing in these four months, you should do for the sake of writing only. I will suggest on the weekends, you can go for answer writing. Few questions of previous years, you can write and you can write some essays. That uh, you should write only to make it as a habit. That will help you. And newspapers, I will suggest you should not read newspapers. You should not uh, spend unnecessary time on newspapers. Just for the sake of reading, you can get into the headlines. But apart from that, you should not spend much time on newspapers in these particular four months. So this is what is uh, the strategy for these four months. Now, the next period is from September to December. So this is the period when you are done with some part of your general studies, you are done with your uh, optional. So you have a basic idea of what UPSC is all about. From now onwards, the role of newspapers and current affairs becomes important. Now you will be able to understand what you need to read from the newspaper, what you uh, should not. That will help your time. So from September to December, you should focus on newspapers and current affairs because they will help you a lot. So in June to December, the first period is June to September and September to December. In this whole period, the first reading of your GS and optional should get completed. This is very important because after that you have to focus on other areas also. So up to December, if your first reading is complete, then you can focus on your second reading. So the next period for me is from December to March. That is very important. So in this period, what you need to do is as you are done with your general studies, uh, as you are done with your optional, now uh, there is a paper called ethics. If you take up ethics, if you will take up ethics in the starting itself, you will not be able to understand the demand of that paper. So December to March is the period from where you, you should focus on ethics paper. And second is the essay paper. You will also be able to understand the demands of essay in this period only when you will have covered uh, the GS and the optional paper. And uh, in this period only, uh, the second reading should get completed from December to March. 
बिकॉज रिविजन इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड दिस थिंग दैट वॉट एवर सोर्सेज यू हैव वॉट एवर थिंग्स यू आर रीडिंग यू शुड कंसाइज इट एज मच एज पॉसिबल because unnecessary going for different books going for different magazines will not help you you should concise your syllabus and revise it as much as possible and in this period only you should develop this habit of note making that is very very important so uh, note making is uh, something that will help you in mains as well as in prelims also so in this period you should focus on your notes making in another video i'll take up how to make notes in this video i'm taking up what uh, strategy you should follow so this is the period from december to march where the second revision should be done and the ethics and essay paper you should uh, get an idea of and you should start preparing your notes so the next period which is from march to june usually the prelims is in june so uh, march to june should be solely dedicated for prelims what happens that when you are starting uh, in uh, june and preparing uh, up to next june you have an integrated study you focus on prelims you focus on mains everything you do so in this particular period march to june you should focus on prelims only so this is very important so for prelims you should do test series as much as possible they are very very helpful they'll help you in getting an idea about kind of questions comes in the exam and they'll help you in developing that thing that how you are going to tackle this exam uh, in the examination room so test series is very important second thing which you should focus in this period is the time management how you are going to manage your time i've seen people who have flung prelims and who were doing very good in the test series and the only reason why it happened was because they were not able to manage the time because of the pressure which was there in the examination room so this is very important third thing which you should focus in this period is the books in which the objective part of syllabus is more for example spectrum of history is there uh, which covers the minute details which can be asked in the exam and also these things are usually we forget these things so you have to revise these things again and again so spectrum lakshmikant and all these books which contain objective uh, things they need to be revised again and again in this period so this is how you should strategize the things now the prelims day is in june so up to june your whole strategy is fixed as soon as you give the prelims the main thing is you come and check the answer key whether you are clearing it or not so it is important that you should start your preparation of mains from that day itself if you think that whether i am clearing or i am not clearing you will waste your time because uh, one month it takes for upsc to give the result for prelims exam so you start the preparation from the next day itself of prelims so now you have a time period from uh, uh, june to october mains is in october so what should be your focus in this uh, june july august september october in this 4 5 months your focus main focus in these months should be answer writing you should uh, understand this thing that if you will not practice answer writing you cannot clear mains it is an essential part of mains so you have to focus on answer writing i used to write every day seven questions for an hour and i used to sit with my uh, group mates and used to discuss these things so it helped me a lot so focus on answer writing that is the most important thing it doesn't matter how much you know because i am sitting here selected uh, in the examination but still i don't know many things so don't think that your syllabus is complete or not you know many things or not just start writing from the very first day after clearing the prelims so this is the thing uh, the next uh, which you should focus on in uh, this period is the test series again a test series is something which will give you an idea how you are going to manage your time in the exam because 3 uh, hours are there and 20 questions are there how you are going to finish it up that is very very important the first task is to finish the uh, questions so uh, test series will help you in managing your time for mains examination the third thing which you should focus in this period up to october is your current events and your notes that is very very important whatever issue is coming up you should link it with the syllabus and you should make your notes of that particular topic that will help you in preparing for mains what happened when i went for writing the exam whatever questions were there either i had note of those particular questions or i had already written those questions so that should be the thing that you should have practiced if you will start thinking there that what i should write in that particular question then the time will get lost and you will not be able to complete the paper so these things you should focus in this period answer writing test series your current affairs notes 
and your revision that will help you a lot in your mains examination so this is up to october when the mains will get over you'll have a period of 2 3 months where you'll have to start your preparation for interview after october after giving your mains you should not wait for your result it takes around 1 1 and a half months you should uh, start your interview preparation and for interview what is required is your opinion your decisiveness how expressive you are these all are things which uh, the interviewer looks in the candidates so what you should do is you should read newspapers thoroughly during this time if possible uh, two newspapers you can read you should make opinion on various issues particularly debatable issues you should be confident while presenting yourself you should have an opinion these all things are very very important second thing is the mock interviews they are also very helpful when you give mock interview the interviewer they tell you what problems you have what things you can improve upon your verbal non verbal issues which are there so they'll help you refine your personality so you can go for two three mocks for this thing and uh, third most important thing is your daft preparation that is very important when you are going for interview the interviewer mainly ask uh, questions from your daft only your educational background your place of working or whatever things you have in your daft your hobbies so you you should prepare your daft thoroughly most 80% of the questions from the daft only so these are some important things which you should uh, take into consideration while preparing so i've given you a basic idea from june to next june how you are going to prepare for prelims mains and interview i think this will be helpful for you people in the end i want to say one thing that uh, every toppers give uh, his own strategy how he prepared what he has done but every individual should devise his or her own strategy i have told you many a things if you think they are good you should take them and if you think that you can improve on them you should definitely go for it so it is upon an individual strength how they can prepare for this exam okay wish you all the best and i hope this video will help you in preparing for this exam thank you don't forget to like share and subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update